Well, another Star Wars show comes out and another Star Wars show gets completely review bombed by the audience. Critics have given this a crazy high review, 91% on Rotten Tomatoes. And of course, the, the audience says, no way, this show is absolutely trash. Well, I gotta say the stuff that I've watched with Star Wars in the last little while, knowing that it's just on a downhill trend, that nothing's going to save this franchise, I have to sit there and take a step back and go, okay, well, what are the reviews saying? And try and actually navigate through a little bit of it. Am I going to watch Star Wars The Acolyte? No, because I know it's already going to be garbage and I don't want to give a view to one of these shows that just doesn't deserve it. Star Wars The Acolyte on Rotten Tomatoes, uh, the, the critics, well, I, I gotta say, the top critics are giving it 74%, but all critics are giving it a 91. So a lot of the paid ones are getting involved on there. And then the audience giving it a 26%. The audience absolutely hates it. And if you think this is only a thing on, uh, on Rotten Tomatoes, well, IMBD has a bunch of reviews on this and they're not giving it any leeway. Uh, CW presents Star Wars. So this is the CW of Star Wars, meaning it's being made for modern audiences and teenagers. Oh boy, that does not feel good. Feels like something a teen would come up with. Huh, four out of 10 here, warning, warning. Uh, two out of 10, a disappointing chapter in the Star Wars legacy. 3 out of 10, this is laughably bad writing and direction. Who in the holy hell reads these scripts and said, yeah, these are great, definitely don't need to rewrite an entire thing. This is insulting, the characters have less IQ points than metachlorians. They have entirely abandoned the claws, the aesthetics, the grit, everything is shiny and new even after the fight scenes and some of the jedi are foaming at the mouth to fight whipping out their sabers every single time they walk into a room the audience learned so little about the main cast of the characters to point to care about the threat they are facing as they are left scratching their heads how uh, over how ignorant the decisions being made by the characters are the spare a few there is one point someone is being held by the force and moments later needs to be caught they are cornered two to one by two jedi and they are unarmed uh, while jedi are not but have held the character moments before using the force the villain character drops a smoke bomb they blow into the dust into their feet and gets away the jedi look in bewilderment like they're idiots. Well, let's look at this one. It actually gave it a six out of 10. It's giving it a pass, but it's a teenage soap opera in space. I feel that this is Jedi story written for the 16 to 25 age group. The evil twin thing done to death, the whole I can overthrow, overpower a Jedi master with daggers cause she was distracted equals impossible. By the way, spoiler, uh, apparently in the first like 10, five, 10 minutes, uh, one of the main Jedi takes a dagger to the chest and dies. And then later on, uh, I'm seeing a lot of it, where someone takes a lightsaber to their belly and they live. Uh, no problems, right? You know, a Jedi master taking a dagger to the chest completely kills you in, in the Star Wars cinematic universe. That is just pales to comparison to the fire in space scenario that I've seen floating around online. A fire breaks out on one of the ships out in space where it lacks oxygen and it's like an everyday fire. It's like a fire you would have in a campground where it's just waving around like there's wind and things like that. And that was a pressure valve. I got it. There's so much more to this that I'm seeing out of memes. This one in particular, greatest moments in the Acolyte writing. Do you think that- No, may his death, I saw her die. Okay, he saw her die and a few moments later- A few moments later. May is alive. I believe you. 
what what kind of crap is this? You write in there and you know they're dead. That this isn't even foreshadowing anymore. This is just contradictory to their own story writing and how poorly designed these stories are being written nowadays. You want to write a foreshadowing in there and not completely contradict what's going on with the character arts? Don't do things like this. Actually foreshadow it. That's what good storytelling is. This is not good storytelling when I see things like this. And now, of course, the rumor going around is Disney Star Wars series The Acolyte to confirm the Force as literally female. This goes back a long ways with Kathleen Kennedy. She's in a shirt that says the Force is female. And it sounds like they're having a, a lover's fair or something. And suddenly it pops out a baby and it's conceived naturally by the Force. Uh, according to the latest whispers uh, to echo out the once beloved galaxy far far away the acolyte will see its fundamental star wars concept of the force as in the non-tangible energy produced by every living being and welder by the jedi and the sith throughout the entirety of the franchise reveal as inherently female being force isn't a situation where it's a being the, the force is never about it being a being in that sense Hell, up here in Canada, at one point, the consensus was 10,000 people followed, or over 10,000 people, followed the Jedi as their religion. It's absolutely ridiculous that this is the situation that they're going now, saying, oh, it, no, you know what, it, it doesn't exist as it being something normal or something that's untangible, something more than the rest of us. No, they're making it as if it's actually a female entity. The Force is an entity now. This is supposed to, uh, supposed to plan for the Acolyte and to further subvert Star Wars fans' expectations by obscenely co oh, cooked up by showrunner Leslie Headland was first teased to the public by noted Disney scooper and media personality WDW Pro. Relaying the information provided him with an alleged insider source via up the video uploaded to his personal YouTube channel, the scooper detail, Kathleen Kennedy and Leslie Headland are going to do something in the accolade that uh, is going to essentially end what remaining fans they have. They, and that is that they will literally going to change the force into itself being literally female, a gendered female force that completely goes against everything that george lucas wrote that the force is just something that's in every little little thing this just now now it's female now like just just kill it already and they already put the dagger through the jedi's heart just put a dagger in star wars and end this entire thing i remember when Stratton disney was um was, purchased star wars and everyone sat there and went, oh great, now they're going to completely ruin Star Wars. And then they came out with the, the first three of the trilogy and, you know, the, the, the prequels. And we were like, okay, you know what, this isn't so bad, we can get through with it. Jar Jar Banks being probably the worst part about all of it. But I, I, I still do like the concept that Jar Jar could have been a Sith in disguise, especially with things that were kind of hidden originally in it and it would have been neat if that was the actual story that uh, played out but a lot of us even sat there and we rolled our eyes at it and we we're like disney's going to ruin it well it's taken this long and now it is ruined like there's nothing left to star wars at this point they're putting out all these shows and then you sit there and you go well, okay they just made it the cw the branding of it all and made it something that it just totally isn't this is the state that we're in star wars you know what after after the last jedi i was like i i, I don't want anything to do with this series anymore and it keeps popping up and then i'm finding out things like with carrie fisher i did that in a couple videos recently on how george lucas is saying that the the show was never about it, it being racist or misogynistic it never has been that way and then finding out that carrie fisher dove back into the the hard drugs because they they demanded that she loses weight from the uh the disney executives it's these things 
are absolutely ruining for Star Wars. And Star Wars is nowhere what it used to be. It's now just this teenage soap opera that a lot of the reviews are commenting on. It's not what it used to be. It's not what it's going to be. And the whole idea that this was once something that was great, like uh, stories of samurai and Jedi's, the, the whole idea of this being a samurai story in space or a samurai opera in space, it no longer is there. Anyway, I'm your prod kidding Phoenix in a shadow. I'm signing off here. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you again very soon.